Hello, and in today's tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to import a Minecraft world or a part of the Minecraft world into 3ds Max. So, to start off with, you're going to need a program, a uh, Java program. So, go to this this link, which uh, I'll leave in the description, and um, download the program. Which you just go onto this link in the the bottom in the left hand corner, and uh, download it. Save it into a folder. Um, and when you've done that, you should get, um, when you've got it in a folder, just, uh, if you've got WinRAR, it's probably not going to let you, um, it's probably going to open it, um, with using WinRAR. So if that happens, just, um, right click on it and open with Java, because you need it with Java. So when you've done that, you should get this, and it's... I would have opened it now, but Camtasia has some weird bug that wouldn't let it work. So when you've done that, you just get this. Um, try and update yours. Mine didn't want to update for some reason. But try and update it. And then, when you've done that, you've got this little drop-down box at the top. It's default at the moment is where your default Minecraft is, but you might, yours might be somewhere else. So if it is, you know, just click the three dots here and change it. So just select the the world save you've got and when you've chosen it just click load and it will have a nice little user interface showing you what your world looks like now, I'm not 100% sure you can import the entire thing in one go because it won't I think it won't be able to do it, it won't be able to handle it. so um, you get, with the right button you can select things that the right and the and the no. and the right one will drag it around the left one will let you select things so just select an area that you wish to uh bring into 3ds max now depending on how good your graphics card is the more you're able to bring in because it won't matter when you render it but in your viewport it can get very sluggish when you have too many polygons in one scene so be aware of that and when you've chosen what you want to export just um, export selection beside the load button and you get this little box now there's show more options you don't have to do any of this there's all this stuff here that you might want to do so uh, choose where you want to save yours. I'm going to put mine on the desktop. Save it there. And export. Export button. Now it should uh, export it. The bigger the file, the longer it will take. And you're going to also want to export the textures as well. So just export the textures. And um, Got the option of doing a, te a custom texture pack, so if you have any of those, you can do that. Or just the default Minecraft, so I'm just going to choose the default Minecraft. And when you've done that, you should now have, in whatever folder you chose to save it, um, a Minecraft objects um, file. So now open 3ds Max. and go up to the top left hand corner and import import and find wherever you saved in the folder somewhere That's fine. and then import the minecraft.object now when you get this screen um, import as a single mesh is a good idea um, and that's it and then press the import button now if you get this message which you might then you need to set A texture path file 
it should be in your Minecraft folder. Uh, the the folder you made to import the world in, well, so where you import the text, uh, export the textures with. Um, ah, this is just because my my Java one wouldn't update, so uh, you won't have this issue. So just skip that. And there you go, you've imported a world. Now, there might be a few issues. You may not even be able to, the textures might not be there. Now, this possibly probably will be, but if it isn't, um, you go to um, Customize, Configure User Paths, and then External Files. Now, and then add wherever the location of all your textures are. You might, this is very helpful if you have any other situations where uh, you import something that has textures, but it's not in a, in a default texture location. You just add the file path and it will then bring them in. You may have to reopen the file. Now, you may also have the problem where all of the blocks look a bit smoothed. And if it is, then you simply need to go into the modify tab and with the polygon selection um, select everything in the scene and then down in polygon smoothing groups with the one change uh, turn that off and now everything should be sharp yeah. so there you go it should now work Now you may see some of these things where there's like black bits around. That's not going to probably show up in the um, render because that's just the uh, the alpha will get rid of those. Now there's another thing you may want to do. Um, you may want to change some of the textures at one point or something. So with the material editor open, which you press with M or this icon here, um, it brings up this little multi slash sub objects which has all the textures in them which has names which will help now also if that's if it's if you can't find it you can go into the selection polygon selection with your with your minecraft world selected and uh, the polygon material IDs it will have all the numbers of all the materials in it so uh, F2 on I should be able to. Yeah. See, if you scroll through them, it'll. Every single item has its own little material ID, which you can select. You can detach them, get rid of them. If you do it this way, you know you don't want. Maybe you don't want any of these torches because sometimes you might not want the torches. You can simply press the delete button with that polygon selected, and now they're all gone. So it's very useful. Um, you might not want any of the snow, which you can already do in the when you're exporting it. There's an option to get rid of the snow. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yes. Um, you might want to change the some of the textures. So you just find one of the, the textures you want to change and just change it you may want to so yeah I'd also recommend getting rid if you're only going to see the surface and nothing else I'd, I'd recommend getting rid oops, getting rid of anything you don't see just so that your viewport's faster and it makes it much easier Now, if I render this, hopefully, and there you go. It renders it with the textures and everything. Of course, you could always add the Omni Light or something, which, if you got 2012 or something, will show up with the shadows in the actual viewport.
basically. So yeah, the bigger the bigger the scenes, the uh, the harder it is to move around in your viewport. Of course, if you've got a certain area you're not going to ever use, and it's just for scenery, you can right-click on the object and go to Object Properties and change it to Display as Box. So in the viewport, it's not using any polygons, or and um, but in when it renders, it is. So you won't have any issues with the graphics card when you render, which is very useful. Um, so let's just my shadows. Um, you may also want to scale the object. You may also want to uh, center it. So uh, in the hierarchy um, um, tab, uh, effect pivot only. Uh, center to object, and then you know change these to zero, 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 and now it's in the center. Just another thing you can do. Oops. And my graphics card's having problems trying to do this, even though it's quite small. So. Yeah, just you know, experiment. You can change any of the textures if you want. You may want to make them more detailed. You know, so it's given a little bit more depth with the with the um, with the uh, light. You know, there's plenty of things you can do. You could edit it. You could. Another thing to know: if you're going to use the rig with this. Um, a good scaling um, thing to know when you scale this on to fit with your rig or just you know to make because you're gonna have to make the world smaller for the rig than the rig to make it bigger because the rig's harder to make bigger than to move the world smaller but um, the um, minecraft rig is two blocks high so that's, that's a good way of noting how high you need for every block and it's 40 by 40 by 40, a cube for half um, the size. Yeah, 40 by 40, a. Yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. Just a quick tutorial to know. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. If you liked it, um, subscribe. Um, if you didn't like it, then feel free to dislike it. Don't share it. Um, see ya. Um, see you next time.